Oh, see, I got my eyebrows done. I was very excited. I'm not going to show you the before and after because it, they look hideous. Today, we went to Walmart. And I was all excited. I got new clothes. And then I was going to come home and relax because even though we're not doing a lot, and my mom is actually doing more than I am, I, uh, every day I'm doing more stuff than my body is used to, so my body is slowly wearing itself out just by getting up to go outside to uh, um, have a cigarette and, you know, different things. Somebody's here that wants to talk and wants me to listen and you get up and you do this and do that and up and down and up and down and I'm not used to that. My body's not used to that. But all that takes energy that I don't, I don't have. So, and that's been that way since I've gotten here. There's nothing wrong with them if you're a normal, healthy person, but I'm not. What happened was, as I was getting into the car, and um, I twisted my back, and I had four back surgeries, the last one was a fusion. What happened is that I twisted it and my whole leg went numb all the way down to my feet, which my feet are always a little bit numb from all the years of um, back surgeries. And um, I had those because I did physical labor uh, my whole life. And back when I was doing it, they didn't tell you, you know, the right way of lifting and stuff. So I would get a skid of paper um, with full boxes that probably weighed like 75 pounds, and I would unload the skids. And then my job was uh, working on a collator, and I would fill the collators with printed pages, and then they would collate 30 pages together until you got a big stack. And then I would take that stack off and put it on the table, and then you walk around the tables and hand collate those together, and then run it through a perfect binder to put the soft paper cover on. Years of that, for a whole <laughs> three something an hour, and I think when I left, I was the highest paid person there, and I was making four and a quarter. So for $4.25 an hour, I messed my back up for my whole life. Because I twisted my back, getting out of the car at Walmart, and I had to come home and take a bunch of pain meds and to kind of keep things loosened up. Well, and so I went cry, because it hurt. So because of that, I've been kind of feeling sorry for myself all day. It's like you get one good thing that happens, and then, you know, one really, really bad thing. And it's just frustrating. And it makes you crabby and feel down. And it took so many pain meds and looking and reading stuff. Um, it was not an option today, so I feel guilty because I wrote a story and I didn't get to go comment or read any of the other stories, which is what I really like to do, so, um, which then makes me feel guilty again. And mom's been really good. She's just happy to have somebody here and not be alone, and, but then you feel guilty because I'm 50 and she's 80 and she's doing more than I am. And I'm supposed to be down here helping her. Makes you feel old before your time. And kind of useless. But. But. From my mom. Who had a hard life. And I won't go into why. But she did. Very hard. 
um, I used to always just wish and pray that someday she would be able to live a stress-free life. And she now is. And she's now likes her life. It's ingrained in her to watch every penny. But she got a new screen over her garage door. And she loves it. And she saved a year for it and got it. And she just opens the garage door and looks out and is as happy as a clam. But she has worries too because she knows that she has to mentally be capable of living by herself, otherwise she'll have to move back by us. Here she can get out all year round and she's got a ton of room. My point of this is, is that my mom had to wait until she was 77 to finally live a stress-free life. But she did. She made it. And she's happy, finally. And she's been happy along the way. Don't, don't get me wrong, she wasn't like, you know, this miserable person her whole life, but she's always had to be the responsible one. She's the one, the reason why we had clothes and food and toilets that worked and she took care of everything. And uh, so I look at her and think, number one, there's hope for all of us that maybe when I get to be 78, <laughs> I'll be able to live the life that I want without bad things happening all the time. And yeah, that sometimes you just have to deal with that. Go with the flow and know that the next day will be a little bit better and that you two have friends. that you can reach out to and that they'll help you make you smile so that your day isn't so bad. So, I hope you all had a better day than I did today. No. My friends all tried to help in all the ways that they could and I appreciate it. I'm sorry I didn't get to read posts like I normally do, and I've been trying to do, but it's been a little busy down here, and yeah, today I just really couldn't, so, um, which is why I'm going to do the blog, and there really won't be much other than this on, on the post, but, so, it's more of a vloggy video, I'm probably not the happiest or funniest I've ever done, but I'm trying. And that's all I can do. And that's all you can do. Just try. I know you have to reach out to people when you're feeling down. Because they'll be there for you. But they can't read your mind. I know that you're having a bad day. 